Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to today's episode right here on the newly rebranded Always Radiant Skin Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel, a humble human on a mission here to help you achieve and receive the best hair, skin, nails of your life and become your most beautiful, high vibe, radiant version. I'm here to teach you how to enter a room and have all the right people notice you in just the right way at the right time. And people we don't want to notice you aren't going to pay any attention to you. This is all about being radiant. And with that comes some responsibility and some work to do behind the scenes to get us there. So in today's episode on the Always Radiant Skin podcast, we are discussing how to have a beautiful brain for radiant skin and slowing aging. And if you need some help kind of connecting the dots here, Hello, the brain is the master control center of many operations in the body. If the brain is off, your skin will be off. And I'll be the first to tell you, after being in a couple car crashes, what happened to my skin after that? Skin inflammation, breakouts. So when the brain isn't functioning in the highest capacity, you might experience skin inflammation if the brain is inflamed. So we're going to be giving you some tips for brain health in today's episode with Dr. Louise Swartzwalter. She is a returning guest here on the show. She is a naturopath, frequency medicine doctor, transformational coach, speaker, mentor, and healer serving men and women around the world. She's the creator of the Brain Soul Success Academy and the BRAIN Brain System Trademark a unique multidimensional system that works on the mind, body, soul, and energetic field all at the same time for quicker results that stick. Dr. Louise Swartzwalter has 30 years of experience helping people achieve optimal brain power and success in life and business. She is a transformational wizard, blending naturopathy, NLP, love NLP. I'd love to dive into that a little bit. Kinesiology, trauma release work. Yes, we're going to be diving into that topic as well and powerful energy work. She is passionate about connecting, clearing blocks to success, and helping others achieve their highest potential. Using a combination of tools, Louise has helped people move from anxiety to calm in one session. One client told her that one session felt like 16 years of therapy, while another said she saved my life. Her team of certified brain soul success coaches are helping people just like you, worldwide transform their lives and increase their businesses. Dr. Louise has been the guest on KKOB Radio, KOB TV, Good Day News Mexico, and featured in Albuquerque Magazine Top Docs. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the show, Dr. Louise Swartzwalter. How are you today? I am great, and it's so great to be with you again, Rachel. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to connect. We had the pleasure of connecting just a couple of days ago and catching up. And you actually really helped me last year when I needed to move through some brain stuff. And we're going to be sharing how Dr. Louise Swartzwalter can help you as well. Let's jump right into it. The bajillion dollar unlimited dollar question here. <laughs> what is radiance to you? And what does radiance mean to you? You know, radiance means... Being your best self, really radiating from the inside out. So feeling healthy inside, but it, it obviously it shows up then in, in your skin, right? And in your energetic field. So I believe in taking care of the whole person, uh, mind, body, spirit, and energy field. And found that when we do it at the same time, it really does allow you to have sort of a different aura and have that radiance and that high vibration. Yes. And when we connected yesterday, I shared with you something that absolutely I'm looking forward to you sharing with your community as well. This is how Dr. Louise Swartzwalter and I work. We share, we collaborate, we share ideas to support one another and our beautiful radiant communities. In Ayurvedic medicine, the 10th body is the radiant body. 
which is the electromagnetic projection of all of the other body systems working in harmony. Mm -hmm. So if our radiant body is off, it's going to be a result of other aspects of ourself being off as well. So you hit, you said it correctly. When our body, mind, spirit, and energy are on point, we're looking after our bodies, we're doing things to support our brain health, tuning down the reptilian part of the brain, negative emotional thoughts. We have a spiritual practice, we're meditating, we're working on our energy. These are all excellent things. Yes. Just a quick question here, because Mm -hmm. obviously we've been working together, you've been supporting me, I've been supporting you. What is your intention? I love to ask people this question. Okay. What is their intention with skincare, skin rejuvenation, and optimizing your skin health journey? Yours in particular. I'm really curious. Okay. So mine in particular, actually, is I think about the skin being inside, out, inside first, and then outside. So just like if you were working with someone with acne, I had acne as a, as a teenager, right? Put on tetracycline, all that bad acne. Now I have beautiful radiant skin. Why? Because I take care of my inside, you know? So when people ask me, I'm like, hey, you guys, this is 30 years of probiotics, fish oil, eating organic food, <laughs> not putting chemicals on my body and living with air cleaners and getting sun and exercising and all those good things, right? So my intention is health. Perfect. I would say pretty much across the board with my one-on-one clients, skin campers, School of Radiance alumni as well. It really is about having healthier skin. It's Mm -hmm. not necessarily trying to look like everybody else on social media with all these filters. It's more about skin health. And that's, Mm -hmm. I think, why we resonate so well and all of that good stuff. And I love what you said about omegas and antioxidants and following the right diet Because absolutely, I would say key nutrients to consume for healthy skin, antioxidants, omegas, collagen, adaptogens, and regular detoxing as well. But we forget Mm -hmm. to detox our brain. So I'm really curious, Mm -hmm. what are some of the aspects of our brain-soul connection that are actually connected to skin and radiance? Such a great question. Um, So I discovered there's such a thing as the brain-soul connection. So when you think about brain health, many of you are thinking about eating right, right, exercising, getting good sleep, which is all important and true. But what I found is to really feel radiant and be 100% your soul's truth, I call it, Someone else might say authentic self to really radiate and have that vibrance, you know, sort of from the inside out. Like when you walk in a room and you just like notice that person, right? They're just glowing. To have that, you have to clear the traumas and the past stuff that got stuck in the spaces of the brain. And that space in the brain is your spiritual brain. It's your soul. And so we have to clear the brain soul connection to really vibrate at a higher level and have that radiance so that you're glowing and you're feeling good and you can stay in that space more often. You're still going to have tired days. Nothing is, you know, even all the way across the board, but you'll know how to move yourself back into that vibration in that space. Yes. And I would also add, you know, brain soul connection, 100%. We all have a soul. We all have a reason why we are here. We also have an identity. We have personality archetypes. I teach on all of that at the School of Radiance, the stuff I do behind the scenes. But some of the stuff that I did behind the scenes with you was around physical trauma release after being in a few car crashes and having my brain rocked. And it's not just that, though. It's not just physical trauma. It's also emotional, psychological, spiritual, energetic, ancestral. Yes. How do you recommend that we kind of clear some of these things out? Yeah, you know what? I came up with a system. So what I found was um, I call it the brain system. It's five steps. And it really does spell brain. Okay, so B is body. So that first step is body. That is eating right, taking your good supplements, your omegas, you know, exercise, sleep. That's the first part to really having, you know, a good brain and healthy skin. And then R is releasing. 
And that's the brain soul connection piece. So releasing is releasing the mental chatter, the negative self-talk, the ancestral programs and patterns of fear, betrayal, rejection, whatever it is, that's in the energy field that then also affects your brain, affects your health, affects your skin, affects everything, affects your whole being. And so we have to release those things. And so I figured out a, a process to do that. So the R is releasing. A is aligning with spirit. And, and here's where we really co-create well together too, Rachel, is spirit, God, whatever you believe your higher power is, is always a part of health, always a part of healing, healing your life or healing your business, right? So when we work with people clearing all that energy blocks, they often make more money, get more clients. Right. So that's the A. And then I is integrate. And that's integrating your brain frequencies to your soul's true purpose. So unless you have a purpose or a why, you'll kind of be floundering. You won't have like a mission, a, a vision of where you want to go. It's, you know, you're just kind of being like your comfort zone, if you will. So and sometimes we're changing, you know, we're always changing and growing. So that doesn't mean your why is always going to stay the same right? Your purpose can change and that's okay. You know, and then N is new program and new program is often missed in a lot of health and healing and wellness programs. And the new program is rebooting your brain, like rewiring it with a new program, much like you would rewire and, and reboot your computer. You're putting in a new virus program in your computer where you have to put a new program in your brain and in the energetic field of your brain for you to really live your best life and be radiant. Yeah, beautiful. One of the things that came up in a beautiful session today with a client, Laura, she's a summer skin camper as well, about to join the School of Radiance too. One of the things that really came up was this balance of the masculine and feminine energy. Mm -hmm. This is also something that I would encourage you to add to your brain acronym. I have it in my radiance acronym, actually. The balancing of those two energies are so incredibly key because mm -hmm. if we're imbalanced, our hormones are going to be suffering. We're not going to have great sleep. Our relationships mm -hmm. are going to be messed up. Mm -hmm. So there is work to be done with that. And when you are in you, your most beautiful feminine state, you're going to be more beautiful. You're face is literally going to emote more beauty yes. and your nervous system will feel more like honey. What are some of your tips around that in your experience as well with radiance? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good, that's a great question too. Um, I do, I, I do some really high powered energy work that has to do with codes. It's success codes. And so to balance the feminine and the masculine, we're actually literally going seven generations back and seven forward and reprogramming your bio computer with these codes. So you have rings around your brain. OK, so that's the energetic piece of your brain and in your field. And when those rings are not are not um, like circling correctly, you're going to feel off and then your masculine and feminine will feel off. So when we balance the field and we use those high powered codes, we are balancing masculine and feminine. And within that process, there's, a, I love doing this one, Rachel, I can actually test people and find out what side of the brain is dominant, what eye is dominant, what ear is dominant. And then after using these success codes, make people whole brain dominant. So you are balancing masculine and feminine and also at the same time, balancing whole brain dominance so you can have that logical brain that you need. So, so my joke is always I can do QuickBooks, even though I don't like it, right? Have a business. <laughs> and I'm highly intuitive, right? So the other side. Um, and a lot of my people are there. They're empaths. They're amazing like you. And, um, and they're looking for that balance of how to navigate the world in a really beautiful, beautiful way. Yeah, when you're mentioning, you know, different things that we can't necessarily see, well, we can actually see the human biofield. I have a device in my living room called the BioWell. It's a couple thousand dollars. It's exclusive to practitioners, and it actually gives a readout of the human biofield, as well as a number of really cool metrics like the body's Joule output. Hello, mitochondria function. If your body has higher Joule energy output, 
-hmm. it means that your systems are actually able to then make that ATP. That's why sometimes right over there, I'll use some NAD patches to support the electron transport chain in the mitochondria. So for some of you listening that are like, what are these rings that Dr. Louise Schwartzwalter is talking about in the head? Energy science, and in particular, mm -hmm. biofield science, we were talking about this just yesterday, you've been following these things since the 90s. And I have since I think like 2015, mm -hmm. there's so much research on the human biofield. So when you're talking about reversal of some aspects that are unseen with certain technologies and seen with some technologies, mm -hmm. this can also be related to your electromagnetics. So even being I, I know it's deeper than that. But if we're, if we're trying to think like nuts and bolts here, tactile, what does this really mean? How can we mm -hmm. possibly influence this today? Get outside. I took a nice little grounding session outside here in Southern Florida, got some sunshine on my body, got fed by, you know, the sun codes, perhaps you could call it that, and got my grounding in. And that helps to stabilize the body's electromagnetics because we get too positive mm -hmm. when we're inside. We got to get those beautiful negative ions from the outside. Otherwise, our mitochondria aren't going to be making ATP. We're not going to have great energy. Our brain's going to be foggy and all that stuff. So what I find is when it comes to working with practitioners like Louise Schwartzwalter and other types of medicine, energy practitioners, it's not for everybody. And it kind of lands at a specific time in our lives when maybe we're more open to this. So some people can be really closed off based on their formal education, for example, or mm -hmm. not wanting to expand the, their awareness based on potentially receiving flack from friends, colleagues, you know, personal and professional aspects. But really, this is a very, um, this is a very personal journey, looking at your health, wellness, body, mind, spirit, energy, it doesn't have to make sense to other people. All it has to do is really make sense to you. And you don't always have to explain yourself. So it's all about finding things and people that you resonate with and pick up on their vibe. So balancing the masculine and feminine energies for any of you listening who are in a leadership position, maybe you're in a leadership position in your household, or you are an entrepreneur, or you you know work in the corporate nine to five, you got to make those business presentations in front of your male counterparts you will actually be more successful in all of those aspects when you are more in the feminine, believe it or not, mm -hmm. instead of trying to, you know, work like a man, be like a man, be like one of the guys. You'll mm -hmm. actually um, have a better response from your male counterpart when you are more balanced. They'll actually pay more attention to you. It's really interesting because you're talking about programs. Yes. And sometimes we need to release programs based on societal programming mm -hmm. and come into our own soul program, soul mission, contract, all that stuff. And it was really interesting when you said releasing things from the past, six mm -hmm. or seven generations prior to and had a time, you know, time is very fluid, right? Yes. Depending yes. on where you are and how you see physics and time and all that. Um, can you expand on that a little bit of how people tend to kind of come to the realization that maybe the way that they thought of things before mm -hmm. with their energy, with their masculine and feminine, with their brain health, and then there comes the switch where they're a little bit more open to learning more about energy medicine. Yeah, that's a good question too. Um, what, I, what I find with the people that I work with is um, they've often tried many things, right? So they've tried the Reiki, they've done EMDR, they've done the therapy, they've, you know, they've tried many, many things, and they haven't gotten to that brain soul connection, and it doesn't stick. So really, it's because when you do a multi dimensional program, and you do body, mind, spirit and energy field, at the same time, is when it sticks. So how I actually discovered that Rachel was I was a special ed teacher in my first career. And I taught dyslexics how to read, write, and spell. And so I've always been involved in the brain. And we did a multi-dimensional, multi-sensory program to help change the brain so they would start remembering how to do phonics, how to, how to divide words into syllables and be able to read. And so we did what you see with what you say, with what you hear, with what you feel at the same time. 
So there were these cards, and it would be a, a, a ball and a bat in the letter B. So here's the bat, here's the ball, right? B, bat, ball, uh, B, bat, ball. And we would we would sky write it and desk write it in the sky. So B in cursive. And then we'd go B, bat, B, T, table, T, A, apple, A. And then we'd put it together, bat. And so I'm... If you're seeing this on YouTube, I am skywriting those letters in the air. We did it in sand. We did it in pudding. We did it on very kinesthetic, right? Well, what ended up happening was those kids jumped two grade levels in reading in six months. And what I realized, because I was doing all the testing on them, that was because of this multi-sensory program, it changed their brain faster. And then when I was sick and I, you know, was really sick and I was on oxygen for three years, I had all these autoimmune diseases, I kept looking for answers. And I was like, you know, this has taken me 16 years. There's got to be a faster way. And then it dawned on me one day that the faster way to change the brain was what I did with those kids. And so that's how I actually came up with the brain system, my five-step process, because when you're doing them all together, it's very different. It sticks. And that's how I can say, and I, you know, people have said to me, this is like 16 years of therapy in one session. It's because it's brain, soul, it's deeper. And because I'm doing body, body mind, spirit, and energy field at the same time. It's actually really awesome because I just watch people like literally shave off years of generational icky stuff. I was, I was going to swear. <laughs> generational crap, you guys. Um, you know, and it, it's just really, it's all the old fear that comes in. You know, I mean, you could have been in like my great grandparents were in concentration camps. Okay. I'm Polish. And so um, I had a lot of fear that I didn't know I had. And that was part of my journey of healing. And so what I realize now is it's different. It could be fear for one person, betrayal for another, rejection for another, you know. Um, and then when people are trying to create like money and they want to release blocks on that, it's the poverty in the family line that has to be cleared. Not just your own mindset for you to get there. Yeah. And again, to kind of put this in more scientific nuts and bolts terms, our DNA is literally passed on from our ancestors. Yes. And we yes. know that the body keeps score. There's a whole book on this concept, right, of how toxins that previous family members were exposed to can impact the DNA that gets actually then passed on to progeny. But not to mention the whole consciousness side of things, too. There's all that space between, right? Nine, mm -hmm. What is it like 80% of the universe is dark matter, it's quintessence, it's the fifth element, it's the space between. This is a, quintessence is actually a physics term. So there's so much to us that we can't see mm -hmm. or we can't touch. And I think it's really cool to just have an awareness of that and understand that there can be some machinery and workings and programs actually in that space. So one of the things I like to do is before I go to bed, I ask for a prayer for protection and healing, actually while I'm sleeping. So maybe that's going to land with some of you listening, maybe not, that's okay. Uh, this isn't going to be for, I'm not for everybody, this isn't going to be for everybody, but this is going to be for the right people in the right time, the right way. Okay, you mentioned some really cool things, obviously working mm -hmm. with children, with development, helping them excel and be able to go into higher grades faster. And I know that you study NLP. Mm -hmm. I love observing people's eye movements when they are on camera and looking mm -hmm. on interviews on YouTube and seeing what people do with their gestures, with their posture, with their eye movements and different sort of ticks that they might have with their speech, like saying, um, so, and, and I had to study this for stage presenting mm -hmm. and also having a podcast, right? I can't mm -hmm. be on a podcast and, you know, me a mess and have my brain all scrambled and my body scrambled too, right? You, you got to have it together. And NLP is something that I've really loved observing. So I'd love for you to give us some practical tips here. Mm -hmm. Using NLP for more radiant connections and presentations of ourselves. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, so I do a process. It's, it's I call it goal setting, and I'm using NLP questions. You know, so if like you do need to be focused for, um, you know, I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be speaking in an event. Uh, 
I use some energy work on myself. So I do the success codes, but I would also ask myself, hey, what is my goal here? What do I want to have change or be different? Right. So maybe it's, you know, I am focused. I am grounded. I am presenting and my my speech, my presentation is landing. People are understanding it, getting it and taking action. Right. So so that would be a goal or intention, you know, and then I walk it down and I say, hey, you know, if that's happening, what would change or be different in your life or how would that like presentation be different? Oh my gosh, everyone loves it. You know, they're getting it. They understand the content. Um, they're excited to be there. And it's it's making an impact and changing their life, right? And then you say, well, how does that make you feel, right? Oh my gosh, I feel empowered. I feel accomplished. I feel successful. I feel joyful and happy, exhilarated, right? So So then you get the feeling part. Then another question might be, and again, it's different for every cer certain time. And we could do a little brain soul balancing here if you want and do like your goal or intention so that people can feel it in the room. And another one might be, what are you telling yourself? You know, oh, I'm telling myself I did a good job, right? Because your self-talk matters. So, so you're walking, you're using NLP questions to walk a goal down. And then when we get to the bottom line goal, well, who would I be? Um, honoring them that maybe I'm not honoring my honoring now. I'm honoring myself. I'm honoring God. So that's a bottom line goal. I take that bottom line goal and I put it in a box and I intuit the strings, the people or situations pulling that person away from that bottom line goal. And I'm able to go into the field. I use intuition. I'm a medical intuitive and go into the field and figure out it's it's your dad's side, but it's seven generations back. You know, it's the third grade bully that beat you up and now you feel not good enough. You know, so we have to clear that energy. So that's how I use NLP. So I think it's a little different than what you're thinking, but it definitely is um, very, very targeted. And it gets to the soul brain, that brain soul connection where we actually have space in the brain because we heal in the spaces. You talked about the spaces, right? So we are 99% space and 1% matter. So that's quantum physics. And so I've been doing like quantum physics stuff since, you know, 2000. And so what I know is, is we do have to heal those spaces for that whole person to, to feel whole, to feel like they're a hundred percent their soul's truth. And that's when you're there, your presence on stage is different. Yeah. It's not just about putting your feet on the earth, which is true. You still want to do that, but it's really getting back to hundred percent your soul's truth. You stand in a different way. You stand in your power. Yeah. One of the things I wanted to mention here is I love to study psychology, linguistics, NLP, because it gives you a lot of insights as to what someone else's brain status might be, as well as if they are constructing something, they're thinking or lying, or if they're remembering something. So I have actually an NLP model here, which talks about eye movements. So when you're talking with someone, you can kind of tell if their brain is scrambled, if they're kind of, their eyes are darting all over the place, they can barely maintain mm -hmm. eye contact. But there are actually some really cool things that you can utilize to help you understand if someone is remembering something or if they are lying about something. And so there's the visual, auditory, and feelings aspects of NLP. So based on someone's eye movements, and you know different, different aspects of psychology, psychiatry, intelligence, negotiation, all utilize these things as well as if you're, you know, looking to be hired for a job. People can be trained on this stuff. So I love just spending some time on linguistics because you did mention NLP and using words and then writing them in the air. Everyone learns a little bit differently. But I do encourage you to take a look at this model here on YouTube to help you discern where you may be pulling information from when you're communicating and also when others may be communicating 
with you as well. And then we can utilize this, you know, a lot of us being intuitive empaths to kind of add a little bit more to that NLP linguistics construct Mm -hmm. to then also how we're feeling about ourselves and other people. And there are lots of people that know these things too. So the more that you understand that other people utilize these tools to read you, you can also utilize these tools to read others. And I do this all the time in Mm -hmm. my personal and professional relationships. Um, There's also another really cool model here uh, with NLP communication. And you mentioned time, space, matter, energy, Mm -hmm. Uh, decisions, programs, values, beliefs, attitudes, intentions. Um, These can be filters that can either delete, distort, or generalize things. And if we look at the image on the left here, our communication with ourselves and others, and thus our our brain behavior, Mm -hmm. comes from these internal filters, also our physical state and the physiology of us. So whether we need to do some healing work with our genes in the background, with ancestral stuff, what's our physiological state, what's our mitochondria doing, are we full of toxins with our air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and maybe not detoxing enough. These all impact the way that we communicate and the way that our brain functions. So when we have an understanding of something like NLP and linguistics, it can just give us additional insights as to maybe why we are communicating with others in such a way as well as with ourselves. So clearing out the cobwebs, eating the right foods, taking the right supplements like Mm -hmm. antioxidants, omegas, collagen, uh, senolytics, detoxing regularly can all be very, very, very healthy for us. What are some of the key lifestyle practices that your most radiant clients are doing? Uh, Most of my radiant clients, I would say, are eating healthy. They're eating organic food. They're taking good quality supplements. I have some frequency enhanced supplements that I love. So I put frequency in everything because I was like one of the first frequency medicine people out there that started playing with like you're the machine that you have. I mean, I have like the beginning prototype of that that was put together in the 1980s, you know, came from Europe. Right. Um, And so they're all they're all understanding and many of them have biofeedback type devices like that. Um, so they are keeping themselves body healthy by again eating right, exercise, getting good sleep. I would say those are key things. And many of my clients do something called mind gems, which is 12 little exercises that balance the brain. So especially if you're not a meditator, These take four minutes to do, and because they're handheld positions like this balances polarity, and we do that for 12 seconds and switch, okay? There's one that clears fear and switches on your brain. So we cone our fingers, and it's the right hand on the left occiput, the left hand on the right, so we're crossed behind your head, and you hold that for 12 seconds, and then you switch, and you'll actually feel a difference. Like your brain will be like a little more clear, and you'll be a little more focused. So it switches on the brain. Uh, So many of my clients do that stress reduction exercise that I give them, and it's called mind gems. It's different than brain gems, if you've heard of that. Some of you may have. Um, That was put together years ago as well. But these actually balance the rings around the brain. So they're balancing the biofield or the energetic field of your brain. And so then you're able to be more balanced and focused. Perfect. Perfect. And I know that I've been a part of one of your workshops as well, where we actually take a picture of ourselves before and then after, and it felt fantastic. And I actually looked better. And like, I'm, I'm serious. And I analyzed photographs and I thought that was pretty cool. And then last year you actually were running me through your system. And I've been getting a lot of questions about some of these kind of like remote prayer things that other companies are offering And, you know, if you go to church, they're going to have this little card that you can write down some of your prayer needs on. And then you'll give that to whoever those prayer warriors in church. My my grandmother, Winifred, was one of those types of prayer warriors in her church. Uh And so depending on how you kind of view things and how open you are, there's some really cool things that we can do to also enhance our energy with different systems also. And Mm -hmm. I would say that my most radiant clients absolutely are let's just be honest they're still beautiful they're still radiant 
most of them are under adrenal fatigue and stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Because a lot of women are working Mm -hmm. or they're running the household and they got a million things to do, especially in today's society with cell phones and, you know, this happening on this side of the world and all that stuff. What's most important and what I see my most beautiful high vibe and radiant clients doing is having a clear sense of identity, which you did touch on, Mm -hmm. and your intentions behind things, yes, as well as reducing stress in whatever way is going to work for you, right? Mm -hmm. Music, games, writing, artwork, prayer, meditation, reading. I love to read books. It's it's either going to be like a type of like intelligence negotiation book, relationship book, or like a health uh, biohacking type of book. So those are some things that do it for me as well as getting into nature. And salt water is actually excellent for our human biofield as well. It's really cleansing. Mm-hmm. Again, those beautiful negative ions. Our body loves to bathe in salt as well. Super easy and pretty much free. Take an Epsom salt bath. Um, I actually have a really great bath recipe that I give my clients and skin campers and a school of Radiance members as well. So Louise, I'd love for you to share. I know in a past episode, you walked us through your mind gem meditation. So if you haven't mm-hmm. listened to our previous episode with Dr. Louise Sportswalter and I on the Always Radiant Skin podcast, I do recommend that you listen to that initial interview as well. So we talked a lot about some other things that mm-hmm. were really important to us at that time, which I'm sure you will enjoy. But can you tell us, Dr. Louise Sportswalter, how people can continue to work with you and sign up for your really fun workshops where you're building communities, you're doing retreats, lots of fun things. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I love connecting with people. So I I have a form on my website. It's a brain soul assessment. So it's an opportunity to talk with me about what your biggest blocks are, you know, where you feel like you might need, or we look at where you might need to clear ancestral programs or traumas so that you can feel radiant and balanced and have that balanced brain. So I kind of like look at brain soul connection there for you. So I love doing that with people. So definitely, um, and I think we'll post the link here too on that. I definitely yep, love meeting. It's already in the description. of this I love meeting new people. Um, so I would do that all day. <laughs> so that's, that's, uh, that's one thing we can do. And there are also is mind gems on there too. So the mind gems that I referred to here are there as well. And when I do master classes and retreats, like we have a retreat. I don't know. When is this going to come out? Do you think? Maybe a month and a half or so. Okay. So anyway, I have a retreat coming up in September in Carlsbad, California. It's right on the beach. We will have an opportunity to get into that salt water (laughs) and walk on the beach. Um, But it's really high powered energy work. And it's those success codes. And so they do release stress. When we talk about adrenal fatigue and all the stress that people are under today, there's such a quick like brain hack tool. Um, So we learn a lot of those codes and we actually work on reorganizing the brain by working on the different lobes. So there's an integration that's called the miracle integration works on the occipital lobe. The living integration has to do with feeling worthy, feeling blessed. It works on the frontal lobe. The peace integration is the parietal lobe and has to do with any violation in your life. And then the four in one integration has to do with self-trust. And so when you do all those integrations, we call them, and that's what we'll do at the retreat, um, you will actually feel and come out like completely transformed. It's like you shift in a weekend from here to here. Um, And the difference is it's not one of those kind of things where you go to retreat and then you go home and three weeks later, you're back to your same place. Uh Uh-uh. In fact, when I learned this 20 years ago, I came home and my kids changed. I thought that they changed. No, no, no. I changed. So it's just, it's just deep dive. I love doing that work with people. We also have online programs like that too. Um, But I just want everyone to know what the opportunities are for you to really shift some patterns, especially if you're in that place of transition in your life. You don't have to stay there, you know, and you don't have to struggle taking webinars and classes and, you know, all kinds of things until you're still not getting the result. Right. Results yeah. count. I always say results count <laughs> or, or why mean, do it? You know, that's, 
that's what we're getting yeah. out of when we're spending our time and attention on listening to a show or going to a workshop. I went to a beautiful workshop the other day here in South Florida, met some amazing souls that are new friends. And this is actually something I really wanted to touch on is how important community is, Mm -hmm. but to be very selective with how you build your community. So using tips like NLP to discern if someone's being truthful to you or not, they're constructing things or lying about things and becoming more clear with your brain so that you can read people better so that you can also have better skin and slow aging because the brain is your primary operating system for most of the systems in your body. So I recommend looking at your skin health and looking at your brain health with a similar priority because the skin cell line also comes from the brain cell line. And I actually had a neurologist, Dr. Joseph Mm -hmm. Uman, who's a client skin camper. He's Mm -hmm. been on the show before actually say that. So that's also one of the ways how the brain and the skin is connected. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Louise Swartzwalter, for coming back on the show. If you are listening, Dr. Louise Swartzwalter is a beautiful, radiant, high vibe woman. And I honestly attribute that to you living your life's work and mission Mm -hmm. and having a strong sense of identity and really helping others and being of service to others. And I love that we can have these types of transformations without having to do like a quote unquote journey, right? A lot of people do journeys. A lot of people do like 50 to hundred journeys. I mean, is it working if you have to do it that many times and you really don't have to do journeys to have this type of self-discovery and unlocking. And that's just quite honestly, not in everyone's path. So sometimes people are looking for some quote unquote Mm -hmm. less invasive ways Mm -hmm. to really retrain, deprogram, reset, recode, get new codes, learn how to access new codes, and continue to live our best, most high vibe, radiant lives. So for all of you listening, be sure to check out Dr. Louise Swartzwalter at louiseswartzwalter.com. Her link is in the description of this episode. Check out her mind gems, check out her workshops, beautiful, beautiful community that you're building with Mm -hmm. lovely ladies having been able to experience that myself. And I warmly invite each and every one of you to also book your one-on-one with me, join my seasonal skin camp, as well as the School of Radiance, and download my skincare checklist. It's a free checklist to help you get organized and optimized with your skincare today. Thank you so much, Dr. Louise Swartzwalter, for joining us here again on the Always Radiant Skin Podcast. Oh, thank you so much, Rachel. And thank you for your help too, with my skin. So I've worked with, with Rachel here. We've done the one-on-one. She recommended some awesome products for me. I feel better. My skin feels better. Um, I use natural stuff anyway, but it really does help to have an expert, right? Help you with that. So again, I want to thank you, Rachel, and thank you for the good work that you're doing in the world here too, putting it out there and really working. Again, what I love about you is you do work mind, body, spirit. And the space it's, between. And, and the brain. You know, the stuff it's I like share you for free. You the whole person just like I do. <laughs> oh, you know what I talk yeah. about here on the show? This just scratches the surface. It's just um, like, this is like a little tickle on the surface. There's so much more I do behind the scenes to be my most radiant self, to connect with more radiant people, build my yes. community and network. At the end of the day, it's a survival thing to have a community and network. So you might as well do it in the most high vibe, beautiful, radiant way possible look our best, feel our best, and have the highest encounters with those we encounter. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Love you all so much. Have a beautiful high vibe rest of your day, everybody. And we will see you again right here on the Always Radiant Skin Podcast.